everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the differential equation which is linear in x. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve y square dx plus 3xy minus 1 into dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. y square dx plus 3xy minus 1 into dy equals to 0. Consider it as equation 1. You can write this as y square dx equals to minus of 3xy minus 1 into dy. Right. Simply we will take the second term to RHS. Then dx by, now bring this dy to LHS, you will get dy by dx equals to minus of 3xy minus 1 by Take this y square to RHS. Then dx by dy equals to, we can write RHS. We can write RHS as minus of 3xy minus 1 by y square. So in the RHS, in the numerator of the RHS, you have two terms and in the denominator, you have one term, right? So, we can split this into two terms. 3xy by y square minus 1 by y square. This equals to minus of. Here, 1 by gets cancelled and you get 3x by y minus 1 by y square. This equals to minus 3x by y minus into minus plus 1 by y square. So, we got dx by dy equals to minus 3x by y plus 1 by y square. Right. Then, dx by dy, take the first term of RHS, LHS, you will get plus 3xyy equals to 1 by y square. Also, you can write this as dxy dy plus 3 by y into x equals to 1 by y square, which is linear in x. We know that. The standard form of linear equation in X is dx by dy plus px equals to q, where p and q are functions of y alone or it may be constant or constant I can say right so by comparing these two we can say that the given differential equation is reduced to a linear equation in y right so you're having dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are functions of y alone 3 by y is a function of y and also 1 by y square is also a function of y right where P equals to 3 by y and Q equals to 1 by y square, which are functions of y alone. Now we need to find the integrating factor We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by equal integral p dy. So, we will find integrating factor of the given equation or the reduced equation is equal to e power integral for p equals to 3 by y dy. Now, let us write the constant outside the integral. We will get 3 into integral 1 by y dy is equal to e power 3. Integral 1 by y dy is log mod y. 
Also, you can write this as e power 3 log y. Since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m, then you can write 3 log y as log y cube. Also, we know that since e power log some function of y equals to function of y, then e power log function of y will be function of y. So, here our integrating factor is y cube. Therefore, our integrating factor is y cube. Now we'll find the general solution of the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in x that is dx by dy plus p into x equals to q is given by x into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dy plus c. Now, we'll use this formula to find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x times integrating factor y cube equals to integral q for q equals to 1 by y square into integrating factor y cube into dy plus c this equals to integral here y square 2 y's gets cancelled then we'll get y dy plus c which is equals to integral y dy is y square by 2 plus c So here we have x y cube equals to y square by 2 plus c, right? Now take the LCM here, you'll get a 2 is your LCM here, right? So in the numerator you'll get y square plus 2 into c 2 c. Then I'll take this y cube to RHS and bring this 2 to LHS or better take this 2 or bring this 2 to LHS you will get 2x y cube equals to y square plus 2 c this is a required general solution or we can say this is also a required general solution or what happens if you take 2 to LHS and y cube to RHS you will get 2x equals to y square plus 2c by y cube. Since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, then we can split it into two terms, y square by y cube plus 2c by y cube, which is equals to, if two y's gets cancelled, you'll get 1 by y plus 2c by y cube, right? Then, 2x equals to 1 by y plus 2c into 1 by y cube. We know that 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n. Then you can write x, sorry, 1 by y cube as y power minus 3. And 1 by y as y inverse. Okay. It's better to stop it here. But if you want, you can find either this or this.
So we have seen a problem from linear equation in x in this video. Hope you'll understand this. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.